All right, let's see where this goes now that it's working. Oh, these are just like that statue I saw in the bin. Huh. I wonder if that means one of these is fake. Huh, I should look for a way to verify the statues. I'll even have to double check the portraits I found to be sure. Ah. So we're looking for... Hmm, it's a painting of the dining room, including a smaller painting of this room, which has the same and so on and... Oh, wow. Hmm, infinity is endless. You can't really add to it. Uh, you can't really add it to something? Okay, so where's this to hallway? I should bring us back to the hallway from earlier. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. S uh, Siobhan? I think it's Siobhan. Siobhan. It's pronounced, yeah, Siobhan. Again, told you I'm Irish. <laughs> hey, LMCP. How are you doing today? Uh, what a menacing name. S yeah, Siobhan. It says here that she robbed a castle and sailed it out to sea so she wouldn't have to give it back. Damn. All right, she seems pretty badass. That would explain the eye patch. And the pigeon on her shoulder that she's painted red and green. I should check the statues, see if any match this one. Okay, so we have to check all these statues. All right, a painting of the sun. I guess it must be important to them or something. Yeah, Dooley, it's a little important. All right, what about the shields? A handful of fancy looking shields. I could fit like one shield per hand, tops. Maybe one in my mouth? I mean, I, be I believe in you, Dooley. Ooh, a sunstone altar. Oh. Yeah, so they broke it out of, like, whatever this crystal thing is. This must be where they stole the sunstone from. Uh-huh. A uh, banner. That's the second largest green banner I've ever seen. All right, to front door, the hallway. Oh. This is over here. I didn't realize that there was... Oh, more over to the side. Gotcha. Okay, so dining room. All right, so... Huh, the statue bears the menacing eye patch and stance of Siobhan Dooley. And here not very and her not very convincing parrot. Okay. Again, so who is this? Big Finn Dooley, who supposedly ate the salmon of knowledge. Surely that should be ate the salmon. Nope. He caught it and gave it a beating <laughs> for not knowing to avoid his fishing line. <laughs> he has large hands. All oh, the better for beating fish with. <laughs> Maybe we can rule him out by finding a matching statue. Well, I think it's this one right here, right? This statue has the club hand, club hands of famous fish fighter, Big Finn Dooley. All right, so that's these two eliminated. So maybe this one or this one, but we have to go check the other statues first. Uh, so actually, we probably need to go back to the dumb waiter, right? Uh, nope, any statues or paintings here? Oh, right, right. A portrait of Tammy Dooley. Yes, yes, yes. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Okay. She has a distinctive scar on her face that might help identify her statue. And I believe there was one more up here, right? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Great old Gungnan Dooley, inventor of sleeping on the job. I've never been more sure that this is my family. Okay. He's asleep. Uh, he's asleep in this portrait. How very on brand. Maybe his statue is sleeping too. Hmm. Okay, nothing in here. Was there any painting in here? No, just a switch. No painting in the bathroom. Okay. And I guess this is probably the shortest way up there, right? Oh, no, 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 that's the other hatch. Right, right, right. We need to go back down, stairs down, fastest way is over here. And dining room. Okay, so who are you? Huh, I haven't found a portrait that matches the statue yet. Uh, this is definitely, yeah, the scar on the statue's face. That's Tammy, yep. Um, who is this? Huh, I haven't uh, found a statue that matches this portrait yet. Huh. Uh, banners. Long, flowing green banners. They sure do like green in this country. Huh. So we're, we still need to find one portrait, I guess. Um, where, though? Yeah, bedroom, nothing here, no statue, or no, no portrait here. Hmm. Hopefully you're having a good day so far, LMCB. Uh, can we look in the bin? This must be the statue that Mama Odulio replaced. Can we try to put it back together to see which one it was or what? Huh. Um, yeah. Oh, what's this? Vinegar. An old bottle of vinegar. Pungent. I think it might be worth taking. Okay. I mean, I do love vinegar. 
Table and chairs. Uh, that's that's some length. Oh yeah, the dually's got length, if you know what I mean. All right, to so the hallway. Hmm. Oh, the drawing room. We never even checked this out yet. Aha. Oh yeah, the, I mean they they released this in a whole bunch of places. It, it's it's cool to see that this game I think will hopefully get even more attention than the first one did, and I really really enjoyed the first one. All right, let's check out the deer head. This does look a bit like, you know, with his skin on. Our school mascot. I guess he does. I mean, with the skin on. <laughs> Maybe he bleed for us all. Oh, God. Wait a... Ah, oh, what a nice fire to come inside to. Yes, and with the sun gone, fire will become the new god, providing light and heat for all its followers. Dooley, that is crazy talk. Quiet. Don't make me sacrifice you to the new god. Oh, yeah. Dooley's given everyone the, the, the full gams. He's, you know, it's a very flattering robe on him. I'll say that. I mean, you know, he he, he looks the part of a, a Dooley. All right, so this is Connor O'Dooley, one of the family's military leaders in the O-Wars. <laughs> he has, uh, what's a nice way to put this? Uh, his ears are disproportionate to his head. I'll keep an eye out for that on a statue like it. Uh, what about this armchair? I'm so jet lag, I need chairs for all of me, not just my arms. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they don't leave a pun on the floor here. No pun is left. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. All right, statue. The statue has the ears of Connor, uh, Connor Dooley. And the military uniform. Oh yeah, sorry, the ears distracted me. All right, so then this has got to be it. This is the only statue that doesn't have a matching painting. This is the fake. Uh, damn it, I'm not going out without a fight. Take this. Ah, she's got a rolling pin. And I'm not afraid to use it. Quick, Dooley, confiscate it. Nice job, Dooley. Ah, no, give it back. Look, detective, she had this in her pockets, too. Did she now? Arrest her, Dooley, for the very real and not paranormal, or just normal, if you will, crime of theft. Aha! We got them all. Bagged them and tagged them. All right, so I'm assuming now we can bring the sunstone back here, right? Ooh, a sparkly. Okay. All right, this altar has proven to be less than secure. I better take it to the Archdruid. Ah, okay, that makes sense. All right, back to the Archdruid. Anything to say, Butler? Uh, would sirs like anything? No. Goodbye, sirs. All right, let's go back to the Archdruid. Uh, and give you the Sunstone. Ah, <laughs> ah, you got the stone back. I'll be honest, nothing like this has happened in a hundred years and one more. To my eternal shame, I'm not entirely sure what comes next. But I remember my grandmother's uh, grandmother, who died long before my time, telling tales of a recovery system, a way to use the stone to reboot the sun. Wait, how did she tell you a tale if she was dead? Oh, sorry, I thought you needed some information about how to save the world when it seems like what you needed was a lecture on lyricism and poetic license. Uh, sorry. Anyway, there's secret room in Castle Dooley, the entrance to which is hidden in the phrase, if you have a burning desire to see the sun again, then you must follow your hearth. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can detectivate your way through that. Okay, so it seems like we know, need to go to... One of the fireplaces, maybe? Uh, maybe. Because a hearth is like the stone setting around a fireplace, right? Uh, and there was one in the drawing room, right? Yeah. Uh, um, is there anything about this that we should see? Ah, if you have a burning desire to see the sun again, then you must follow your hearth. Hmm, maybe the hidden room is through here. I need to put out the fire to find out. Um... Can I put vinegar on it? I mean, that doesn't seem very efficient. Uh, I know make a pig, pig ears out of that. Huh. Okay. Huh. So we need to get a larger supply of some kind of liquid. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? I guess we can go back to the kitchen, maybe. Um. Yeah, this is the mead. I'm starting to think we've been drinking honey the wrong way. I mean, mead, I mean, honey is just good, but, you know. 
Uh, stovetop. Hands off, I'm boiling those kettles. Uh, for tea? What? No, to free the water soul. Look at it there, floating off to water heaven. Ar wait, are you making fun of me? Honestly, I'm as sure as you. Bye bye, water ghosts. Uh, okay. Pots. Hands off Pat's pots. Uh, do you want anything? Oh, don't mind me. Got a bit wet in the rain, so come indoors to warm my ferret. Okay. Oh, it actually has a button to show hot spots. That is very good to know. Um, because I actually love that feature in adventure games. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I, I mean, thank you so much for um, Wigwarf. Uh, I'm gonna go Wig Wigwarf. Wigwarf. <laughs> uh, okay. So it, this this will show the hot spots. Gotcha. Good to know. Uh, for me, it was, wait, now it's on, it's not doing it. It was, oh, there we go. It's, uh, up on the D-pad, it looked like. But it, it only does it for a little bit. Yeah. If I, if I tap on the left on the D-pad, that, that shows it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if I tap, yeah, no, it's left on the D-pad. That is very helpful. Or right, left or right on the D-pad. Good to know. Hmm, okay. So we need to get liquid. Yeah, if I if I hold it, it works too. That is very, very useful. So, do we want to fill something? We need to get a container, maybe? Maybe we need to get one of Pat's pots. Hmm. Huh. Is there anything else up here that we may have missed? Uh, no. Fog, bear, goose. We have a rolling pin. That's a weird item. Uh, ladder up. The hatch at the top won't budge. Looks like a mechanism has it locked in place. Uh, can I use a rolling pin on it? No. Uh, vinegar? Nope. Uh, the hurl? No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. There's also the chandelier here, and we haven't been able to use that. Remember that time we accidentally burned down an entire house by messing with... Yeah, 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 we already read that. Um, do we want the chandelier? No. Hmm. Uh, can we break open this? I don't know why we would want to do that. Hmm. Uh, is there anything we can do with the... Oh, broken glass. Huh, broken glass probably from the theft. Or there could have been an emergency. Uh, can we not take anything here? Torches. I feel like this house violates so many health and safety uh, guidelines. They're guidelines, detective. More like suggestions, really. Yeah, I, I could see this having a bit of moon logic. I mean, this series, I feel like, has a little bit of that, but I don't mind it because it's so charming that when the moon logic does come up, I'm like, sure, why not? It's almost like a joke. Like, it's almost making, poking fun at the weird way that adventure games of yesteryear have had puzzles. Okay. Huh. Anything else here? Um. Can we fight fire with fire? Uh, no. Uh, deer head. Anything else? No. No, we already read that. Hmm. Uh, we don't. Uh, do we want to take. Maybe. Again, this game also has this thing where. And I think it's, it's good because. It makes you actually like think about the items once you get them, but oftentimes you'll only be able to pick up items once you know you need them. Yeah, like I was wondering if one of the shields we could like carry water in. Hmm. Uh, oh, 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 there's the well. I forgot about the well. Okay, maybe we can go there. Right. I might be able to get water from here if I can find a crank. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh... Wait, can I use the hurl as a crank? No. Hmm. Uh, the rolling pin? Okay, so we can... This is the right idea. Hmm. That wouldn't work. There would still be no way to turn it. Uh, can I combine these two things? No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, okay. So we're on the right track. We need the crank, though. I wonder, do we take that from the dumbwaiter? Like, can we take the crank? 
Oh, no, no, the chandelier, the chandelier. Oh, no, it wasn't a crank, it was just high. God damn it. Uh, yeah, maybe the dumbwaiter then. Yeah, is there no, no crank in here, right? Uh, no, there is no crank on the dumbwaiter either. Uh, now I'm just looking for a crank. Um, hmm. Nothing in here, right? Oh, the moon logic is right now, huh? Okay, all right. Well, I'll keep an eye out. Hmm. Crank. Where was there a crank? Yeah, we can't go into the bedroom. Uh, painting of a handle. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the painting of the crank? Yeah, it looks kind of like a crank. Uh, okay. So can I... How do I take it? <laughs> how do I get the... Wait, how do I get the crank out of it? Okay, if it wasn't a painting, I could use it as a handle. Wait, can I, like, flatten it out? Okay, uh, can I burn it out? Okay, I, I, this is some moon logic. Yeah, I you, you weren't lying about that. Uh, do I use this? Hmm. Uh, vinegar? Am I, like, dissolving the painting? Oh. Oh, my God. Y yeah, exactly. This is going to be one of those things that I think shouldn't work, but it does. 100%. Okay. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't that work? Okay. All right. That's kind of actually funny. I, I, I can get down with how silly and dumb that is. Oh. Uh, our good friend, the butler, uh, couldn't have helped us with that one. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. I'm missing something to make this work. Oh, 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 a shaft to connect it. So that must be we have to combine the handle with the rolling pin. Aha. If I stick this handle on the end, I can use this as a crank. Perfect. Oh, no, no, no. That's not quite how I imagined it working, but okay. I, I see what's going on. Okay, let's get this well working and get some water. Oh, that's funny. All right, so we have bucket of water. Lovely. So we'll use that on the fire, go through the hearth. This guy, again, every time I think of this guy's voice, just gotta think Michael Kane. Would serves like anything? Uh, this place has all manners of secrets, hasn't it? Well, we are in the oldest country in the world, and this is the oldest house in it. Bound to have its secrets. That doesn't sound... Wait, is that true? I wouldn't trust what you read in your American school books, sir. Anyone with a printer, some glue, and an agenda can change those. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So let's go over to the hearth. Over this way. Yeah, I, I am really loving this game. I, I agree that this game has more moon logic than the first one did, but not entirely, you know, unique. All right, let's put this fire out and see what happens. Like, I feel like the moon logic in this is absolutely, like, acceptable. All right, there's something on the wall behind the fire. Oh, what do we have here? It looks like some kind of lock. I need to know the Dooley family crest and motto to get through. So... What are they, Dooley? Uh, okay, um... No, if it's not broke, it can be. We saw that. Um... It's Badger, right? Yeah, um... Uh, it's green. I just don't remember the sh shape. Oh, man, um... Yeah, I don't remember the shape of the crest. All right, let's go check that out. Yeah, that that was some that was some big foreshadowing. Uh, we should be able to see it here. I think it's just circular, right? Yeah, I think it's just circular. Okay. Oh, we still have the bucket though. So, all right, go through here. Go through here. All right, let's go check this out. All right, good. It's saved. All right, I think we have it here then. Huh, it doesn't seem to be correct. Um, I would have swore it was a badger. Unless maybe we have the wrong shape. Ah, it was just the wrong shape. There we go. All right. Up the ladder we go. All right, we're in some kind of 
secret chamber. All right, ooh, what the hell is this? All right, what is this place? Never mind that, what is that thing? That looks like a rocket ship to me. Uh, control panel, what do we got here? Control panel, let's see what it says. Hey, 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 fire level zero. Sunstone, reading zero. Rocket status, no, no, no. Aw, party pooper. All right, uh, I guess it looks like that's a receptacle for the sunstone. Wait, is that? I think I'm in love. Wait, is, wait, is that a rocket? Well, not a rocket rocket. It looks like it gets its thrust from steam built up from that connected furnace still. Pretty impressive tech for something so old. A steam powered, not rocket rocket from a million years ago. Take that, NASA. Uh, but what's that carved into it? Huh, a sun, I guess. It looks just like my birthmark. Dooley, you don't have a birthmark and you, s and certainly not like that. If I did have a birthmark, though, that's what it would look like. I feel like it's... Oh, my God. It's in my... Osuliokt? What? Osuliokt? That's Irish for soul. Huh. Uh, I guess we need to put that gem in. It has to be an opening that looks right. I guess that flies the... What am I saying? This is all insane. Would you have preferred a case with ba uh, banshees and uh, formorians and the fair folk? That would have made more sense, at least. Huh. Fine. We put the gem into the rocket to fly it into the snuff out sun and reignite it. Ugh. All right. Did you say goodbye to the rocket? Seemed rude not to. All right. Let's put the sunstone into the rocket. All right. The sunstone seems to fit into this chamber. Ooh. Very glowy. Um. Coal furnace. An old furnace. We need wood or coal to get it started. Huh, boiler, a large boiler for shooting the rocket, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are we using the hurl? They said it was made of wood. Hmm, okay. So, what are the pipes? These pipes must send steam to the rocket to power it. So where are we getting the water from? Or is there water already in the boiler? Yeah. Huh, what does it say now? A control panel, let's see what it says. Ah, fire level zero. Sunstone reading one. Rocket status. No, yes, no. Actually, I kind of like this guy. He's growing on me. Maybe I should set him up with Betty. Zigzag is married to its work. Sorry. Okay. So, do we need more water then? We need to go back to the well. We need wood and an altar. Uh, can we... No, no, we already did that. Hmm, we need wood and an altar. Wood and an altar. Uh, not wood and an altar. Uh, wood and water. <laughs> oh, we can't, oh, we can't do it again. Huh, well, we fixed that well. Well done. Uh, do we grab the barrels from here? These barrels would have been used to store the ice. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. The mystery of the, the stolen ice. Don't worry, Dooley's on it. Huh. Oh, 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 right, the coal here. Oh, this is where people head away from nuclear bombs during the Cold War, before our time. Uh, so can we take an empty bucket of the coal? Aha! Let's scoop some of this out. Okay, so we have coal, and we need, uh, I guess, I guess the water's already in there? Uh, we'll, we'll go see what, the, what it says now. And back to here. Maybe it'll give us a hint about what exactly it wants. All right, add the bucket of coal to the coal furnace. Let's fill this baby up. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that you're not meant to fill babies up with coal, or any combustibles, really. I mean, probably not, Dooley, probably not. All right, let's see what it says. Our fire level zero, sunstone reading one, rocket status, no, yes, no. Oh, oh, oh we need to light the thing on fire, right, 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 of course. All right, this is how castles burn down, probably. All right, now what do you gotta say? All righty, fire level one, sunstone reading one, rocket status, yes, 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 let's blow this Roman candle. Okay, let's do it. Let's solve this case and get the sun up and running again. Do you wanna press the button, Dooley? Really? Of course, it's your family's rocket, it's your big day. Ah, oh, sucks, detective, thanks. Launch sequence activated. Woohoo! Rocket launch in 10. Error, launch's door blocked. 
Open access hatch for manual fix. Oh man. No problem. We just need to get the doors open and restart the launch. Rocket launch in nine. Oh no. Okay, uh, I think I know eight. It's seven. Uh, uh, what's the, the fastest way there? No, um, because we need to get back to five, uh, four. We have to go upstairs, right? Yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry. Two. It's got to be here, right? Yeah, quickly. This is it. Ooh. Launching in one second. Let's do this quick. Oh, oh, oh. Of course. The hurl. Hole in. The, yep. Wait, what? Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall for a crank. Okay, it's got to be this. Are you, are you kidding me? Uh, is it the torch? Wait. What? This must be the top of the furnace's chimney exhaust. Uh, our steel doors. Uh, wait, do we, did we need the crank from the well? Oh God. I mean, I understand that it's probably not gonna go off until we actually do it, but I can feel the stress in the music. Again, I do really love the music in this. Oh, come on. Nope, nope, not the time. Not the time, not the time, not the time, not the time. Uh, can I not take the crank? Ah, uh, it won't budge. If only we, if only we could bash it somehow. Uh, we have just the bashing tool. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have that crank back. All right, grab the crank. Go, go, run, you two. And by that, I mean transition. Transition. You know, I, I really hope they make fun of the fact that the, the timer's held at one second. You know, maybe the robot, j yeah, just wanted some drama. Launch still in one second, inexplicably. Thanks, robot. Thumbs up emoji. <laughs> that is exactly what I was hoping for. Hey, we need to loosen the doors before we can crank them open. What do you mean, loosen them? What? Oh, God. Uh, okay, they're rusted shut. Huh. Okay, so this is the only case where you have to get a object back. Interesting. Okay, so we need something that will loosen the doors. Uh, can we get the stovetop? Hands off, I'm boiling kettles. For tea? Okay, no, we already got this. No, nope, doesn't care about that. Um... Uh, Cooking lard, aha. Given how old this place is, a lubricant like it could come in use uh, at some point. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho. All right, up we go. We gotta, we gotta lubricate the doors. All right. On still in one second. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's grease up this son of a hatch. All right, the doors are loose. Let's crank this thing open. I can't do it, Dooley. I'm not strong enough. Launch imminent. We're not gonna make it. Step aside. Zero seconds to launch. Wait, that means it's time to launch. Let's do this. Ah, oh, Dooley, you saved the day. Otherwise, we would have had a smoldering crater for a castle. Oh. Did it work though? Ah! Uh, another case saved. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Detective? Yeah. Thanks for pretending you couldn't turn the crank. Uh, I need to work on my ability to lie. You can never lie to me. Aww. Uh, come on. Let's go finish your ceremony. <laughs> oh, that's cool that you wrote a rock through. That's really fun. Uh, family, friends, we gather here again on this once ominous day to perform the coming of age ceremony and to properly welcome our prodigal son, Patrick Dooley, back into the fold. Did you hear that? She said I'm a prodigy. That you are, buddy. That you are. Case closed. Hell yeah, that's cool. That's fun that you uh, that you wrote a walkthrough for the game. That's fun. Yeah, this game is is so much fun. It's just you know, it, it's got such charming, delightful cheekiness 
that very few games get the energy up. I think probably the one that we played most recently that kind of reminds me of this, but it's much more on like the sweet side, was the Frog Detective game, which I really, really love too. All right, let's go to the next case then. Funfair Dismissal. 